Hey Isopod enthusiasts, I'm Paul with Isopods and More, and today we're going to talk about Isopod bin vents. I've been selling bins now for about a year, and the vents that were on those bins, the supplier has gone out of business. Because of that, I started designing my own vents, and what you're about to see is the new product line uh, from those designs. Our bin vents come in three colors. The first is white, the second is shiny green, and the third is shiny blue. In the near future, we hope to add uh, black and shiny purple. So be on the lookout for that. Our vents have a three-piece design. Uh, when it's completely together, you have an outer ring that you can just twist off. This outer ring uh, would go on the inside of the uh, bin and the main vent would go on the outside. So when you put the ring back on, it holds it tight into the bin. This, the third piece is an insert, and this insert twists pretty easily. You don't have to force it, and it pulls out, and when you pull it out, you have your barrier uh, for the vent, either cheesecloth, um, mesh, or you can go without anything. It really depends on what your purpose for the enclosure is. So to attach the vents to the bin, you're going to need a hole saw, uh, it's 57 millimeters. Uh, these vents have been designed so that if you put a hole uh, with a 57 millimeter hole saw, uh, it should just snap right in. It's, uh, it's a little bit tight, but it fits perfectly so that you can take your outer ring, put it on, and uh, as I just tried to put it on there backwards, I now flipped it over. And it now connects quite easily, and your vent is attached. Now, this is actually quite easy to do, but there's one gotcha that you need to be concerned about. When you're working with these plastic bins, there's always a chance that when you're cutting your hole that you can get a crack uh, in uh, your uh, plastic bin. I personally use a practice bin all the time uh, because it is easy. As a matter of fact, for this video, I was trying to make this hole just so I could show you putting the bin in or the, the vent into the bin. And of course, I cracked it. You know, I do this all the time. So you want to be patient, you want to take your time, and you want to try not to uh, put a, a crack into your plastic. So maybe DIY isn't your thing. So if you watch this video and you're not sure that you want to buy vents and create your own bins, you can always buy our bins uh, from the site. We do have the new uh, vents and uh, bins available for sale. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.